What is good YouTube and welcome back to a brand new video. So you guys really seem to enjoy the video I did about Damian Lillard, the four perfect players that would fit around Damian Lillard. So today I'm doing the same thing for Russell Westbrook. Before we jump in this video, we are so close to 2,500 subscribers. So if you have not subscribed, please make sure to do so. And a huge shout out goes to Heidi Flores. I owe him a shout out. I should have given it to him a couple videos ago, but uh, we're going to go ahead and jump right into this video. So when we think about Russell Westbrook, the most thing we do think about is, yes, he's a ball hog, or he doesn't like to share the ball around, or he takes stupid shots, or his efficiency is horrible, but we also know him as Mr. Triple Double. Now, all those things I said in the beginning, I don't think about Russell Westbrook. I think he's the top two point guard in this league. I love Russell Westbrook. I'm literally wearing a Russell Westbrook shirt as we speak. But today we're going to be building the perfect team around him. So this is all my opinion. I would like you to leave your four players in the comment section down below as well. But uh, let's go ahead and jump right into this. So with this first trade, well, it's not really a first. It's for with this first player, I have someone in mind, and I think it almost makes sense. He's one of the best off-ball players in the league. He plays great defense, and he also is a three, is it two, no, two-time champion? And that is Mr. Klay Thompson uh, from the Golden State Warriors. So I think Klay Thompson would be a perfect fit next to Russell Westbrook because literally Russell Westbrook loves the ball. Klay Thompson loves playing off ball. I mean, he can play with the ball in his hands as well, but Klay Thompson would be the perfect complement to Russell Westbrook. Westbrook and Klay Thompson in the backcourt is just perfect. They both play good defense. So this team would be great on defense. Now, one player I did want to keep on this team is Steven Adams, because I think he's honestly the perfect center to play next to Russell Westbrook. Steven Adams is very humble. He lets Russell Westbrook do whatever he wants, basically. Steven Adams could be like a 15 uh, average, a he could average 15 rebounds a game in this league. But you know what Russell we or Steven Adams does? He does his unselfish thing and lets Russell Westbrook grab those rebounds just because he knows it's important to Russell Westbrook. Now that is great. I think Steven Adams is just the perfect center to play next to Russell Westbrook, which is why he will be staying on this team. So no reason to move Steven Adams. So, so far we have Mr. Triple Double himself, Russell Westbrook, of course, Clay Thompson, the perfect off baller, plus defensive player to play next to him. And then Steven Adams, who of course has already shown that he's the perfect fit next to Russell Westbrook. Now with these last two players, I just kind of had to throw uh, something in there. Now these other two positions, you could honestly grab anyone you want, to be honest. So I honestly feel like Patrick Patterson might be the starter for the Thunder just because he stretches the floor. But I think at the power four position, just for now, uh, we're not really just for now, but uh, the first guy that came to my mind was Kyle Kuzma. Another guy that can hit the three and obviously can uh, score in the paint as well. I think Kyle Kuzma would be another nice addition to the Thunder team playing next to Russell Westbrook. His defense isn't terrible, but it could be better. But I think Kyle Kuzma progressing next to Russell Westbrook, Clay Thompson, Steven Adams, I think just it just swings the pot. And I think the Thunder would be very good with uh, Kyle Kuzma playing next to Russell Westbrook. So... Like I said, Clay Thompson, Steven Adams, Kyle Kuzma. The last player we have is at the three position, and I have Mr. What's, well, let me grab uh, Andre Roberson, trade him out of here. Andre Roberson obviously is a perfect defender for uh, the, the Thunder, but he's obviously not the greatest three shooter. But he was off the Boston Celtics. You know I would love to grab Jason Tatum, but just I'm going to go ahead and grab Jalen Brown. Another guy that can play off the ball who's a good, decent defender and who will only get better from here. I think Jalen Brown would be the perfect complement to Russell Westbrook as well. So basically, I think this team would honestly maximize Russell Westbrook's uh, usability. So definitely why I have it the way it is. I'm going to go ahead and move Jalen Brown to the small forward though. So with the rotation, this is the final rotation that I have. I have Russell Westbrook, Klay Thompson, Jalen Brown, Kyle Kuzma, Steven Adams, Dennis Schroeder is still off the bench. Um, we're going to obviously keep the Thunder's bench. Uh, Nora Zanwell, Jerry and Grant, Raymond Felton, and Alex Sabrina is obviously not getting a minute. So let me know what your guys' perfect four players to play next to Russell Westbrook are. And if you agree with me, or do you disagree with me, or do you think this player doesn't make sense, or do you think this player makes sense? But obviously, I think that you really can't argue with the Clay Thompson debate. Jalen Brown, you could probably grab maybe someone better. Kyle Kuzma is someone better as well. But Steven Adams, I think it's debatable, but it almost makes perfect sense for Steven Adams just to play next to Russell Westbrook. Just because... Like I said, he's honestly the perfect center to play next to him. So, the big question is, will Russell Westbrook still average a triple-double with this team, though? Will he still do it? I think he probably still could. I'm going to go ahead and turn trades off. No trades will be made. We're going to go ahead and see how this team does. And I honestly bet that uh, we're going to make the playoffs. So, 
let's go ahead and see my team in this season and let's see how this OKC Thunder team does now with my perfect four ideal players next to Russell Westbrook. So at the end of the season over on the Golden State Warriors, Steph Curry without Klay Thompson actually wins MVP. Luka Doncic is a rookie of the year. Paul George wins sixth man of the year. This man was literally coming off the bench for Golden State. They literally did not start KD and Paul George together. They decided to take, wow, okay. And that, that's one thing I don't like about 2K. I mean, obviously in real life, Steve Kerr would start those two together, not have Paul George come off the bench. That literally just doesn't make a lot of sense. But um, Russell Westbrook, is he even on an all-NBA team? It doesn't look like. I didn't see him, but he is on the all-defensive second team. We're second in the conference, 62-20. and 20. Now, as far as the player stats, Russell or Clay Thompson led the way with 23.5 points per game, four, or four rebounds and five assists. Russell Westbrook almost average a triple-double, .3 away, 10 assists, 9.7 rebounds, 22 points. Schroeder had 16 off the bench. Kyle Kuzma with 13. Jalen Brown with 13, Steven Adams with 11 and 10, and almost two blocks. And as well, also had a nice uh, outing off the bench, 7 and 5 and 1. So, let's see how far this team can get in the playoffs with the perfect roster around Russell Westbrook. We faced the Denver Nuggets in the first round, and we beat them in seven games. So, that was definitely a uh, pretty close series. We did uh, close out in game 7, 24 points left away uh, by Dennis Schroeder. Now, we're facing the Houston Rockets. So, the Houston Rockets obviously grabbed Melo from uh the thunder and now they're up to one on us can we even it up they're up three one how about if we go in here we do a little bit of this and a little bit of that so let's go ahead and see and uh we'll, yeah okay we get we get beat so 36 points clay thompson tried his best and russell westbrook tried his best as well so we do get beat in five games oh well what can you do but uh i do like i said uh thank you guys so much watching. I really do appreciate it. And uh, the Toronto Raptors win the championship. Interesting. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Let me know what you guys saw in the video and the next player that you guys want me to do. If you guys keep enjoying these, I'm just going to keep doing these until 2K19 comes out because I really don't have a better idea at the moment. But I did start college today. Uh, so your your boy's schedule is getting a little bit busy, but I'm still going to try to get a video out to you guys each and every day sometimes i take a day off one day during the week but i'm definitely still going to grind for you guys so a subscription really mean a lot but thank you guys this crush and i'm saying peace